so excited to be saying that guys like this is my first job like my first corporate job and i'm so so excited mm. even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, my name's Lou and welcome to the Z Student. Mm. <laughs> I'm just going to bring you guys along my first day of work. And it's so funny because this work thingy that I have is a trip. I'm going to be traveling to Mwandi for work. For those of you who don't know, Mwandi is right before Shangombo. Yeah, right before Shangombo or right after Shangombo. I don't know. But guys, it's Kumashangombo shangombo side. But anyway, so I got an email for a virtual meeting we'll be having for work. <laughs> it's like an orientation for what we're going to be doing in the field. I'm just so excited. Um am I scared? Uh no, I don't think I'm scared, but I just fear one thing. Like what if I call my boss wa boss over sa because I've been at Molungushi University for like four years and our lecturers are just like our friends at this point okay not yet but like they are you know our buddies were comfortable with them so if they give us an assignment and it's due in two days we'll just be like mm -hmm, and we get to watch taco extend due date you know like we'll just call him like Vasa, but he's dr somebody or mr somebody you know but it's just like mm. <laughs> now this is work and then i should tell my boss that mm, we were both sure <laughs> We'll see how that goes and you know why i'm saying this because the first two weeks when i went to mulungushi i still had that high school mentality that i had like some of the things some of the values that they instilled in us from high school i still had them in my brain for example in high school if a teacher is seated you need to kneel before giving them the book or the item that you want to give them if they are standing then you stand when giving it to them now, tell me why I went to Mulungushi University and then there was this tutor who was sat, right? And then I knelt down so that I can ask a question and he was like, mm, I was like, ah! oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. What if that happens at work and I say, Vasa? Ah! Or I say, Wandi? Yeah. Or I just said, Wayama, Mama, you're going to be here. That's the only thing I'm scared of. That's the only mistake I'm scared of making. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. And yeah, I can't wait. I know I've seen memes about people and videos about people saying, oh, now I need to go for my nine to five. Da, 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 and then they're complaining about their jobs and da, 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 da. And that's completely fine. They have all the reasons to do that. And honestly, I'm not going to complain right now because there's nothing to complain about. I just got the job and I'm pretty excited. So I'll be excited. Why should I be complaining? Or why should I be anticipating uh, the difficulty of the job? I know it will get tough at some point. I know it will get stressful at some point. I know it will get overwhelming and over bearing at some point and it'll be like oh let me just quit at some point i've seen it on youtube i've heard it from people i know that will come later later on but for now let us celebrate let's be happy okay let's be happy we can be living in joyful moments at ah, wait, what if it becomes tough when it becomes the, eh? no embrace each moment okay so yeah I feel like I've just talked a lot for this intro. The next update I'll give you is when I'm preparing for my meeting. My meeting? <laughs> for work. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Lumbanya Lupele and Guys, I feel drained. <laughs> Yo, I feel so drained. The meeting was 2 hours and 30 minutes. 
the coordinator gave us a briefing like an overview of what the organization does uh what this particular project is going to be doing where we're going um, how long we'll be there what we'll be doing <sighs> anyway while the meeting was going on my pc battery started flashing <laughs> my pc battery started flashing and then my pc went off I connected my phone like I joined the meeting again using my phone. Also, my phone started tripping. <laughs> I put it in power saving mode. And it went up to, I think, 15%. We were left with like 40 minutes till the meeting would be done. And my battery was flashing. My PC had been... That's <laughs> just Oh, man. Yeah, finally, mm, power was restored. Yeah, electricity was restored. And I quickly put my phone to charge. So, oh, it's charging. Yeah. Yeah, it's charging. And yeah, then I continued listening to the meeting. Obviously, I was taking notes and everything. Then I got pressed. <laughs> I got very, very, very pressed. Now, unfortunately the time i got pressed is the time where um the team lead was asking questions and calling out names yeah. to the people who were, who were quiet and i was one of the people who was quiet so i was like okay should i go to the bathroom with my phone while i'm in the meeting like what happens if she calls my name <laughs> what happens if she says lumbanya are you following eh? or if she says Lumbanya, any clarification or question or contribution? And I'm in the bathroom peeing. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> so I was like, okay, hold it in, hold it in, hold it in. Until she stopped talking and somebody started asking a question, I was like, this is the only opportunity because the next person she will call is me. So, yeah. Anyway, overall, it was good. It was okay. <sighs> I see why our parents come back tired. I honestly see why they come back tired. Because in my head, I used to think, ah, but you're just in the office. You're not even doing anything. Like, you're not moving up and down. Da, da, da. But, bro, you're using your brain. You're using your brain. Oy. I need to take a nap. And I need to eat. Go well, in the meeting and everything. Da, da, da. Then they mentioned that we translators or interpreters. And in my head, I'm like, for what? We are going to Western province. And people speak Silozi in Western province. Me, I only know how to speak English, Bemba, and Nyanja. I can't speak Silozi, so obviously those people will interpret where need be. And it just made me realize that it's very important to know your local language, at least know Nyanja and Bemba, because those are commonly used, especially for you people who want to join um, NGOs, you know, the corporate world. NGOs do projects in the deep jollies of Zambia. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll learn some silozi. Musuiwe chwani. Ensha. Tell me why the kitchen was in a mess. <laughs> it was looking disorganized and... <sighs> On top of that, the dog food wasn't cooked. And my little cousin was just watching TV. In that moment, I was like, bro, you were just watching TV. This whole time, I was in the meeting very very tired you couldn't even wipe the tabletops the counters in the kitchen and then just there i stopped myself in in my thought and i was like mm, this is how my mom talks this this sounds like my mom she comes off from work and she's like ah you haven't even done this you haven't even done this the kitchen is in a mess the dishes are not even washed what were you doing you're just watching tv you're just on your phones I now get where she's coming from. <laughs> I get where she's coming from because me, after that meeting, all I was thinking about was eat and sleep. And then now, that eat and sleep thought just woo, out of my head. Why? Because the kitchen was in a mess. But you know what? I didn't even tell my cousin that, ah, ah, number you didn't, what, 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 I'll tell her on a different day. I just started gleaning. I didn't have the energy, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I now understand. To anyone watching this, if you're in grade something and below, 
or if you're just not working please don't sit around on your phone because as much as it looks like your parents have just your parents and guardians have just gone for work to sit yeah that sitting is draining it's so draining <sighs> the least you can do is just keep the house in check take it from me your big sister <laughs> yes i know school was tough as well don't get me wrong school also it's school is draining and stressful but please just you know sacrifice a little just way through bits and clean the kitchen remove the chicken like they asked cook on time whatever or however small your chore or house contribution would be please do it because trust me that really contributes greatly to how the home system is run loki i feel like swapping positions like it's fine i'll do the dishes it's fine Yo, I feel so drained, guys. But naturally, my mama like, hello. This was day one. What's more good today? Oh my God, please give me strength, please, na papa ta. That verse that says your strength is made perfect in my weakness. Please make it. Hey. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I signed my contract. I think two days ago. I was so excited. Yeah, my you guys. Hmm. Signing that same contract tell me why like they sent they sent the the contract right it it shows you um how much they'll be paying you your entitlements it shows you it, they'll even be giving me uh data bundles and airtime ah, i didn't know i honestly didn't know i honestly didn't know that they do that at work but yeah at work yeah anyway <laughs> there, there needs to be a dramatic pause hello yeah so yeah, so they'll be giving me that and then they also mention like what your job description is how long you'll be working there so for me it's an internship it's not a permanent job so it's an internship and like yeah i don't even know what i can and cannot say so i feel like details of that contract i will not mention hey guys it's a lot later i'm currently in the family library or study room whatever you want to call it like you know working from home is so funny because I know what my dad was saying. If you're not disciplined, like if you haven't disciplined yourself to work from home, you'll just be running off vibes. I just didn't do one thing and it's piled up. Just like in uni. Do I want this to be the rest of my work life? No. If work does pile up, it shouldn't be because I didn't do it, you know. So I actually want to do my best and be on my A game and everything. So yeah. I don't know. Are you guys enjoying this experience? I don't know. But yeah. And there's more electronic signing to do. <laughs> Guys, if you've never signed anything electronically, please learn now. Because some of you might just start working for NGOs pretty soon. And like, or maybe you'll be working from home and you'll be required to sign stuff and everything. And that digital signature, chan, chan, chan. I want to. <laughs> oh, and remember the fear that I told you? Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I might call my boss. No, everybody's pretty civilized. Like, they just call you by your name. But I mean, I don't just call them by their name because obviously they're older than me and they're like my seniors and everything. So I just say Mr. Da -da -da, or, you know what? I actually haven't called anybody Mr. What, what, what. I just start talking. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me put you on a time lapse and let me do my work. My work. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done reading what I was supposed to read and I've even signed. Now I'm a pro at this electronic signing. <laughs> Regards, Lumbania, who's still? <laughs> Today we're gonna regards Lumbania. Okay, good evening. Okay. Oh, it's a self-disclosure form. That's what it's called. So there's one for a global code of conduct, and then another one is a personal self-disclosure form. So, yeah, that's what I was supposed to sign and send. Working class, way. <laughs> My sister just called me and I was like, I'm at work. <laughs> you guys will just get tired of me saying work. <laughs> 
tomorrow i'm going to be packing and reading more things that they send yeah and reading more about the project because like now i'm signed into the portal so i i get to read all the news and like check out the analytics of stuff and everything and you know just get acquainted to what's going on so that when i go on this trip i'm not blank so to close off today hey please don't please just ignore the door frames behind because ish guys <laughs> one thing about african homes okay let me not say african homes because maybe some of you at your place it's not like this but at my place whatever free space if there needs to be in fact next time you won't even see door frames in the background you'll see bugs of maize <laughs> or fertilizer or i don't know soya beans or something or feed i don't know so one thing i've learned from today today's work day is do things on time going forward yeah this is not repeating itself because <laughs> what i had to read <laughs> it was a lot it was a lot it was a lot so yeah yeah <laughs> work <laughs> you guys i'm still in my <laughs> hashtag started working era so allow it okay when do you guys um yeah i'm going to sleep uh i'm actually going to bath then sleep and then yeah we pack tomorrow uh i already did some shopping for some things that i was supposed to get i don't know if i'll insert the clips here or something but yeah so i'll see you next time